Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This video was shot during the holiday season and on this particular day it was minus 30 degrees Celsius in the Creek Valley. We took a three hour hike and it was very cold but really needed to get outside. We were coped up for a while and it was just time to get out. I had to use hot packs for my hands but they were barely working at these temperatures. The camera batteries were not standing up to the cold and the GoPro quit pretty soon after starting up. The Canon held up better but I had to stop working the zoom just to conserve battery. But we were catching the early morning sunrise and this was making it all worthwhile. But yeah, at these temperatures, the air at these temperatures too, the minus 30 range, it starts to get so dry as well. Oh yeah, so Donna found this in the ice. It was a pipe, a T, T section of a pipe basically. And we couldn't really figure out what this thing was and we thought maybe it was part of a, a pump house which you'll see in a few minutes but the thing is probably uh, it's not just sitting in the creek bed here it's it's actually drove down there's a pipe below this and we're not really sure where it's from or how it got here but there was old coal mines in this creek valley way back in the day and we think that maybe that might be something to do with it again a, a beautiful shot of the morning light time to sit down for a rest it was pretty hard. The hardest part was I was wearing uh, felt pack boots and the things are about five to ten pounds each so they're <laughs> hard to walk with. Uh, yeah, there's the old pump house and really not sure what its history is or what it's about. We figure it's probably for the water. Water source of some type. But the views as you can see are just gorgeous in the valley. And that's the funny thing about these temperatures if you want the snow to stay in the trees and beautiful scenes like this it's got to be really cold that's okay yeah you are too <laughs> you too Yeah, we were expecting to be the only ones down in the valley, so we were both shocked. Just us and one other person and two dogs. Minus 30. She said minus 30. I saw minus 26. Well, down in the valley, it'd be a few centimeters, centimeters Celsius colder. Maybe. Maybe now it is. Yeah. I feel like the slight breeze is channeling the the I frozen air. Uh, nobody's cross country skiing lately. Yeah. It's mostly just walking. Yeah. <laughs> Too cold. Too cold. That I believe is a ash or some kind or sorry, river elder, we think. We're not sure if this is a river elder or not. But to go back to the cold temperatures and that, um, yeah, if you want these beautiful shots of the snow and the trees, it needs to be really cold out because that hardens the snow and makes it stick to the trees better. We've had some plus temperatures here the last couple days and because of that warmth, the snow falls out of the trees. It immediately falls out of the trees and you lose this beauty. So it's a bit of a compromise. It's it's cold, but it looks the best in the bush. The prettiest. Some old some springs here that are frozen over. Uh, 
had trouble getting up the hill but finally found a path up here we had to get back on the main hiking trail from the creek here so it took a bit of time to figure out our way along but again nobody around just us and the the chickadees in a few minutes here these good little guys they were pretty happy to see us I think it looked like somebody was putting seeds out before us so somebody was coming down here in the meantime but these guys were still pretty happy hope you enjoyed this trip through a, a very cold hike thanks for coming over